Hi everybody out there. This is another video for the Surface Book. In my last video I kept saying Surface Book Pro. I guess it's all the same. It's just you have an extra where you have a keyboard with the GPU in it. In it. So I have an um, i7 Surface Book. Um, it has 8 gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. I was going to get that but it wasn't going to come out until November 17th, I couldn't wait, so I was like, screw it. Um, and when you're running programs like Photoshop and Corel Painter and stuff like that, I don't technically think 8 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of RAM is a big difference. I think RAM matters more when you're doing 3D stuff or things like that, or if you're using like ZBrush. Okay, so this video is more about Photoshop, I guess because everybody out there in the industry uses Photoshop which I am a Photoshop guy over here on my desk here uh, well you guys can't see it maybe I'll just turn it over there over here on my desk here I have a Wacom Cintiq um, this bad boy here is my workstation here right over there in the corner it has over what um, 32 gigs of RAM. I'm going to upgrade to 64 gigs of RAM. I have a solid state drive, the Intel 750. Takes about two seconds just to like actually turn on my computer or boot up anything. So I'm showing you this because I did the same test on my workstation that I have over here. I have a very expensive graphic card. I have um my graphic card has um, six gigabytes of um, six gigabytes of RAM or something like that on the actual graphic card. Um, um, basically, um, I have Photoshop. I mainly use Photoshop. I do like to use Corel Painter also, but there's just more tutorials out there online and people teaching Photoshop digital painting. I go to school for it. Digital painting, I love digital painting. I also love to use a program called ZBrush, which I will also do a video on also. So I did the same test on here because I've seen people drawing in Photoshop, but they have Photoshop at 300 dots per inch. Most people do not draw in Photoshop at 300 dots per inch. They might ink and zoom in all the way, but most people, they use 300 DPI for printing, okay? And stuff like that. So some people, they, um, so usually people use 72 dots per inch when they're working in Photoshop because usually all of your images are most likely just going to be uploaded onto, um, onto any digital internet site or if you're trying to show off your artwork it'll be shown through web page so with that said if you use a big brush even with this workstation that costs over three thousand dollars i have over here okay if you have it at 300 dpi you have to understand 300 dots per inch i mean that's that's crazy when you're transferring that into pixels and you're working at like two thousand by four thousand or 4,000 by 3,500, which I see a lot of people actually use or whatever. Even on this here, if, if I use a big enough brush, I will get lagged, point blank. There's going to be lag, even on this amazing computer over here that I have, I'm going to get a crap load of lag. So I usually work at 72. It does pretty good actually at 100 also, and it does good at 200, but this is a very expensive workstation. I bought the Surface Book over here because I want to be able to do still life paintings without moving my computer. Um, I want to be able to go outside and paint and take this with me just if I'm out on the go, sitting on the toilet. <laughs> you know, I, like I want to be able to digital paint. So the Surface Book now. I advise people, if you're having a problem with lag, to work at 72, okay? Or work at 150 and stuff like that. That's going to slow down on your brush lag. Now, one thing I have noticed with Photoshop is, is this here. 
is that it's not optimized for the surface book or the surface book is not optimized for Photoshop I mean you have to understand that like you will have to download some type of um, shortcut keys and things like that because it's almost impossible to use the surface book how it is drawing and stuff because you can't really get to your hotkeys. Now I have my surface book set up this way. Let me zoom in right there. This way here to just show you an example. But you can take off the top part of it, flip it around, and you can lay it down so you can use the keyboard GPU to give you that extra boost. Usually in Photoshop, depending on what you're doing, if you're processing files like huge huge files or whatever then the gpu is going to help the gpu does not help when you're drawing that's a huge perception out there that the gpu is going to kick in with the drawing and all of that stuff no basically your ram is used which i have eight gigabytes is layers holding information in the layers because the bigger your file guess what if you use more layers, your file is going to get bigger. So you have that random access memory that holds it. That's all it's doing. That's what your RAM is doing. RAM is good for when you're using a lot of layers. That usually don't have anything to do with your drawing either. Okay. Now, if you're using your CPU has more to do with your actual brush strokes and things like that. Okay over anything okay yes RAM does help when you're adding layers and you're doing your brush strokes I will say that and when you're using a bigger file so it's kind of contradicting in the way because your RAM will kick in with the more layers in the bigger file and that's going to help with the memory when you're dealing with layers and things like that now Oh, I just dropped my pen. That sucks. Okay, so, hope I didn't break it. I don't think so. Okay. So, with that said, this is not optimized. I think they, um, I think they put the Surface Book out ahead of time. Okay. Um, I think that it's not really what it's supposed to do on Photoshop. I use Corel Painter, it works flawless, no lag. Even if I have it at 150 dots per inch, even if I have it at um, um, almost at 200 dots per inch and things like that. Photoshop, you use it for many other things. Corel Painter, you use it for what? Digital painting and that's it. And it's just the whole touch screen aspect of Photoshop is horrible. They, they need to do a hybrid Photoshop where it has a tablet form just like Corel Painter. I have Corel Painter, the whole application here. I want you guys to notice they have this touch screen thing over here where it's designed for tablet. So, when I'm using Corel Painter, what I notice is, if I have the tablet turned around this way here, it's in laptop mode. So, basically, when Photoshop launch, I mean, when Corel Painter comes on, it comes on like the regular Corel Painter. If I flip it around the other way, and I launch the Corel Painter mode, it comes on in tablet mode. Well, you can switch it back up here by going to your window, then going down to arrange palettes, and you can switch it back to get back to other mode because when it's in tablet mode, you don't have everything on screen, so you have to add certain things. Like you have to add recent brushes and all of that stuff. But the whole thing is, that the way it's set up, it's perfect because you don't have to download any extra software like you do on Photoshop. I'm not sitting here trying to advertise for Corel Painter telling you uh, Corel Painter is better or anything like that. It's just that, well, it's better when it comes to digital painting on a tablet. 
So when I go back to Photoshop, okay, I'm at right now. I think I'm at um, image size. Oh, image. Image size, I'm at 150, 4,000 by 3,500, which is pretty good. Like I said, most people work on 72, but um, but it's at 150 just to show you the example, okay? Now, notice, this brush isn't really that big, okay? Now, notice when I start to move quick, okay? When I move quick, there's major lag. Watch, quick, quick, quick. It's major lag, okay? And I notice every time you start off with your brush stroke, it's lag. Then, then it usually catches up. Then it gives you a really good fluid here. So I guess you can still use it for inking. But when you start to speed up and do your sketches, it doesn't move as fast. Now, when I'm using Corel Painter, there's no lag. I mean, like, I just go for it. Like, I'm going to give you a test of me making a bunch of circles. I mean, like, if there's lag, you really can't tell and you can't feel it. I mean, I feel like the, the lag on here will probably be the same lag if you was using a Wacom Cintiq. And even, I mean, it's just more fluid. Then if I want to switch my brush size on the fly, just like that, I just click that, switch it. Um, there's just, like, this Corel Painter, the way they have it set up, because it is targeted towards artists. Photoshop has never been targeted towards artists. Photoshop has always been targeted towards photographers and that's a major problem they need to sit down and say hey there's a lot of digital artists out there so we need to expand which they did because they did add a brush engine that they tried to pretty much copy off of Corel Painter and stuff but they didn't add that brush engine I think to like what that brush engine was added oh man like around 2000 and like I don't like 2000 and Seven, 2008 or something like that and stuff like that but Photoshop came out like in 1988 and, I, and I'm just like shocked that they're so far behind and stuff like that even when I'm using a bigger brush it it keeps up pretty good and when I move it moves with the pen okay and like that's just some of the differences that I see from using Photoshop now, Photoshop, let me open up that brush a little bit more. Look at that lag. You see that? That's even more horrible. Now, if you're inking, yeah, you won't really tell the difference because you're moving very slow or whatever. But basically what I'm trying to say is if you're using Sketchbook, um, what is it called? Um, Adobe Sketchbook. If you're using Photoshop, I mean, no, not Photoshop. If you're using Corel Painter, I just think those are better for drawing so far on the surface. I hope Microsoft and Adobe get together and do something because, I, because like, the way it's handling it, it's handling it as if it's supposed to be photo editing and not drawing and stuff like that. I've, I've seen some people use the Surface Book for photo editing, it works very well. But when they use it for drawing, it's horrible. I mean, at this moment now, yes, you can do some decent drawings and stuff, but it's a struggle. They need to put out an update. This here, I'm not trashing the Surface Book. This is probably the best tablet slash laptop. Please do not compare it to one of those like MacBooks or whatever and stuff. That's an actual laptop. This bad boy come off and you can draw on it. That's why you cannot compare it to a MacBook. This bad boy here 
is leading the way and it's the future. Photoshop, Adobe, and Microsoft, they need to get together and fix this. Because what I'm thinking it is that all of the other programs are catered towards digital painting. So I guess it's just easier on the computer where Photoshop somehow is using too many resources and it's sucking too much power or whatever. They need to figure out how to put it in the format where it's meant for digital painting without all this other stuff in the background. And it's crazy because I keep seeing these like commercials of the Surface Book and people using Photoshop drawing and they're like, yeah, dude, I'm moving lightning fast. And like, I'm just sitting there like, you have to be kidding me. Because every person I've seen that post a video on Photoshop, that's not the results that they're getting. I think that that's some type of conspiracy theory out there because I keep seeing people running around dancing and stuff and break dancing with a surf book <laughs> and they're drawing graffiti stuff and the brush is moving so fluently. I haven't met one person yet through the internet that says that Photoshop moves fluently. So as of right now, I do not recommend it for Photoshop unless you're just doing some editing or something like that. As of drawing, no. But all the other programs have a hybrid. You know what I'm saying? Inside of it, like Sketchbook by, um, by Autodesk or whatever and stuff, it has a tablet set up. It's, a, it's hybrid. This is not hybrid. I don't recommend using Photoshop at all until they get their act together. I mean, it's, look, just, I mean, just look. That's so slow and horrible. It's just horrible. But I, but if, if, if I go over here, I uh, switched in between. If I go over here, it's a whole different experience. And I notice when I'm using Photoshop, if I disconnect this here with Photoshop, it won't allow me. It says close Photoshop first. When you're using Corel Painter and other programs, you can just hit that, flip it around and close it. Photoshop right now, I do not recommend it for digital painting. I do recommend a Surface Book. Go out and get it. It's, the, it's amazing.